Hi everyone, welcome back to Winging It. It's week 25, we're almost at the halfway mark and this week is our nature prompt and we're going to revisit some pieces that we've done earlier in the year because this week's prompt is a leafy tree. So you might have guessed by now that we're going to create a tree for every season and this week I thought as we're working with the colour green through June it will be a great opportunity to create our summer tree. So you're going to need a selection of green threads, your piece of felt, a needle and a pair of scissors and maybe a few beads if you have them. So grab all your bits and pieces and let's get stitching. As it's leafy tree I thought I'd come back to the trees that we've already done and you've probably guessed by now that we're going to do one for each season. So right back at the start in January in week three we made this winter tree and we were working with monochrome at the time and we put some little beads in to make it look frosty and then in May we did our tree with blossom and we used these lovely little bits of quite a textured fabric and some bugle beads there to make it look similar to the, the winter one but more spring like I did a laburnum tree so I'm going to stick with the same design for our leafy tree I'm going to work on this piece of mint felt because I've used quite a pale background in both of my other tree pieces so I thought I'd carry on in the same vein and do something similar here. So as we're working with green I've got lots of green threads ready but I need something for the trunk and I want it to be green but I don't want a bright green trunk so I've got my threads box here of greens going into brown and down at this end we've got some brownish greens so they are greens that are heading towards the brown end of the spectrum and this one in particular I think works really well it's a sort of olivey green mossy green I suppose so I'm going to use that one as my dark and then I've got a mid-tone greenish colour here and I need a lighter one so I'm going to go I think for this one so that's going to be our trunk colours so you can play around with the prompt of green you don't have to do all green I'm just making my pages all uh, consistent through the month so if you don't want to do a greenish trunk then don't feel that you have to but I just want to show you that you can actually play around because green covers a whole spectrum of colours and you can go more to the blue end up here more to the yellow brown end down here and find a green that's going to work for your tree so like I've done before I'm just going to sketch in where I want my branches to go so this is only a rough guide something along those lines and like we did in May and in January I'm going to use stem stitch to put in the trunk thought it'd be worth me doing a little refresher on stem stitch so I'm going to start just at the bottom so I've measured my trunk it's about a centimetre wide and it starts half a centimetre up from the border and that matches my other tree so it's just a rectangle with a circle on the top that's the shape that I use so for stem stitch you start at this end and you go forward a stitch length and before you pull through you go back half a stitch length so I'm keeping my working thread towards me so that's forward a full stitch length and back half a stitch length like that and then pull through and so you end up with your thread forming a sort of t-shape so again I'm going to go forward one stitch length I'm starting half a stitch length back on my first stitch so I want to go half a stitch length further forward than that stitch and then back to where that first stitch ended and pull through so on again 
back to where the stitch, second stitch ended and pull through on half a stitch length back to where the third stitch ended and pull through. So if I bring it up to the camera you should be able to see there's a sort of rope texture forming there and it gives a lovely textured finish to the bark. So I'm going to work my way up the trunk and then I'm going to carry on straight into that first branch. I'm working in my mid-tone green and I've got two strands, I'm using six strand cotton and I've got two strands here. I'm going to thicken that up by coming back down the other way so I'm not going to go right from the very tip of the branch because the branches are going to get thinner as they go out towards the edge but I'm going to work my way back down and that gets me to the bottom of the trunk so again if I hold it up to the camera you should be able to see that's starting to form a nice texture there so it's just a matter of working your way along the trunk and where it's appropriate going up into the branches now a lot of these branches are going to be covered because we're going to put lots of leaves on this tree so don't worry too much about getting your branches perfect because we are going to stitch over them so you get the idea what i'm doing i'm just going to put all this mid-tone in and then we'll come back and look at the next stage okay so i've put all my mid-tone branches in and if you remember back to our previous versions we add some darker branches that bring those branches forward and some lighter ones that sort of push them back and add a little bit of dimension to our work so that's what I'm going to do next now on this winter one we put in loads of little tiny branches but this is going to be covered with leaves so I'm only going to actually put in the large branches so I've got my darker shade it's this one here and so what I'm going to do first of all is come up the left hand side of the trunk with some stem stitch. It's really important with stem stitch that you don't pull too tight because you, you will naturally get some puckering of your felt but if you pull too tight it will really cause your felt to go out of shape so you only pull through until the stitch is just lying flat. So I'm going to work on the underside of my branch now because that's where the shadow would fall. So I'm imagining the light is coming from the right. So the underside of the branches and the left hand side will be slightly darker. So that's that branch. So now I'm going to go to the next branch up and work my way back down just to where that fork is in the branch and then on the trunk I'm just going to put in some straight stitches just here and there to add a little bit of shading over on this side of the trunk it doesn't look a lot but it will it will have an effect it does round out the trunk and make it seem more three-dimensional my straight stitches can be quite dense very far over to the left and they're just going to thin out as I work my way to the centre of the trunk so now I'm going to put a darker branch in this space here and I'm just going to go up on the underside I think I'm going to add a little bit 
of the branch go more vertically on this one and I'm going to make it cross over one of the branches that I've already stitched just to add to that sort of three-dimensional effect. So I'm just going to add in the rest of those darker branches and then we'll come back and add our highlights. Okay, so I've put my darks in and now I'm just going to add some highlights. So again, I'm going to go up the right hand side of the trunk with some stem stitch. So I want to make sure that I'm on the tops of the branches now. So I've come up the left hand side, the right hand side, sorry, just to the bottom of that branch. And I'm not going to add a highlight to the bottom of the branch because light wouldn't really fall there. So I've just gone to the top of this branch and I'm just going to go along the top. So like before, I'm going to add in some straight stitches on this side in my lighter shade to add some highlights. A little bit of highlight in there. And I'm going to, I've got two spaces here and here, so I'm going to add in a paler branch in that space and because it's lighter it'll look like it's behind the other branches so whereas those dark branches come forward this one is going to recede and to help with that I'm going to go underneath that branch there with my stitches so I'm just going to add in that remaining branch and the rest of the bits of highlighting and then we'll come back and talk about the leaves Right, so I've got in all my branches there. So now we're gonna add some leaves and I thought we could try something new with this one. What I thought we could do to make this look really full of life is try some blending. I've got this sort of emerald green and this very dark sort of fern green. These are both six strand threads and I've taken one strand of each and I'm going to thread them together into my needle. So what I'm doing is blending the shades I'm using. So we're going to use loads of different shades of green on this. And hopefully it will look really full of life and vibrant. And I'm starting with my darkest shades because I'm going to work sort of background to foreground. So what I'm going to do to make these leaves is let's start sort of towards the edge i'm going to do a little chain stitch a detached chain stitch and i'm going to elongate my anchor stitch so that little stitch at the end i'm going to make longer and then i'm going to go back and put a straight stitch through the chain and that will make it look more solid so I've got a little leaf there and what I need to make sure of is that my leaves are going in all sorts of different directions so elongate the anchor stitch and then a straight stitch back through so this is going to take some time because we're using purely embroidery to add life to our tree but we're going to do lots of different combinations of threads in our needle and make it look really lively see those little leaf shapes coming there and we want some overlap in the branches as well
So I'm going to fill out all this space to the outside of my circle. So the circle is the shape of the tree that I'm trying to form. So I'm not going to take many leaves very far beyond that circle because I want it to look similar to the other trees that I've made. So you can see I've got my leaves going all sorts of angles there to try and make it look more organic. It's actually really hard to stitch in a random way. Being deliberately random is quite tricky. So if you rotate your work, you'll vary your stitches more widely. So now I'm going to do a different combination. So I'm going to have that, this green here again, but I'm going to put a lighter green and I'm actually going to blend a different thread. So this is a very fine pearl cotton. I think it's a size 12 pearl cotton. So it's a lot finer than the ones I normally use. So we're overlapping branches, but you can also overlap other leaves because this is going to look really full. This tree, it's going to be a tree in full leaf. So we want it to look like there are leaves everywhere going in all sorts of directions. I think the trick with this one has been knowing when to stop because it's so therapeutic just doing the same stitch over and over again. I could sit and add leaves for most of the day I think. Okay so I've put all my leaves in now and I wonder whether we should put in some beads because why not <laughs> just to add a little bit of sparkle so i've got some of these sort of yellowy green beads here I've got some darker green beads as well and we just want this to be quite a nice eye-catching design so I'm not suggesting that the beads represent anything. Really, I'm just doing it for the look and the design of it. Our previous two trees had beads on them, so I want to sort of carry it on. Just throw in some of these yellowy green. So there's our finished leafy tree. I'm just loving the tree pieces that we're doing and I love how different the same design can look depending on what you do to it and I'm really liking the different shades of green. The camera's not going to pick it up particularly well but try it honestly there's so many different shades of green going on there, full of life. So that's this week's prompt. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Do share your leafy trees at hashtag FSH winging it and hashtag FSH winging it 25. And we'll be able to see all the leafy trees together. Can't wait to see what you come up with. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.